welcome to CB Shaves and thanks for joining me for another shave. Right, I'm going to start with the brush. I'm looking forward to this shave. A soap I've had for a year and I, I forgot all about it. I'm going to start off with the brush. It's my Simpson Chubby 3 with the 30mm Sovereign Knot and the Ruby Handle. Beautiful brush. Kindly gifted to me by Mark Bagwell. Thank you, Mark. I hope you're okay, mate. And I've got that soaking in Skeletor. I haven't used it for a while. Right, the soap. Sort of Halloween themed. Phoenix and Bow. And it's Baskerville. And there's the Hound of Baskerville. Good old Sherlock Holmes. This is a nice dark scent. <sighs> scent notes. Frankincense, labdanum, cedar, vetiver, tonka bean and birch tar. And it smells like a leathery, um, peaty. I can't pick out any vetiver. You definitely get the birch tar. It reminds me um, a little bit like Phoenix and Bow Spitfire and Southern Witchcraft's, what is it? Valley of Ashes or Valley of the Ashes. It, it's like a blend of them two, that's what it reminds me of. It's quite a, quite a hard soap, not used. There it is, and that's what we're gonna use. Rays of the Choice is my Razorock 95 Lupo. If I can get that to focus. Beautiful handle, HD handle. Nice short handle. Personally, I prefer it a little bit longer. Nice low profile head. And it's a three piece, not adjustable. And let's see if we can get it right way around. Razorock Lupo 95. Made in Canada. There you go. Inside there is a brand new London Bridge. Super stainless. I thought I had one. <laughs> but it's uh, second use, but I don't I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Double wrapped. Which means they've taken care of the blade. You see these numbers? You see the numbers in the corners? They're usually stand for inspection numbers. And they mark it down. So I believe. Right, we'll load that in there. Looking forward to this. And I've got a few things to tell you as well. Slighten that up. No overhang whatsoever. The blade alignment looks spot on. Right. Three flakes of the brush so it's not dripping and we'll gather up out the pork. Just get a load on the on the brush. So how's everyone doing? You okay? I hope you've been having a great week so far and some great shaves. Yeah, a few things to talk about. First of all, I want to apologise to all you guys for the uh, periodic videos for the last couple of months. A lot of things to deal with, personal-wise, health issues and everything, and work. Work's been chaos. So I do apologise, but as always, and for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know I've been having a lot of trouble with the internet, but we're nowhere near in the 21st century, if you like, where I live in the sticks. We're still on the copper wire from the telegraph poles to feed the internet, and it's been absolutely terrible. We've been having over 5,000 drops in the internet feed a week. Gotta go with that. 
there's good news on the horizon. Yeah, it's been a rough um, couple of months for me, and Mrs. B. So I do apologise for that, guys, and I really appreciate you sticking with me and your patience. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll get back on track. Because I'm trying to get back to my regular slots on Tuesday and Friday and anything in between. It's just been so hard with um, commitments to get the house ready for the market. Sorry to go on and repeat myself, but it, it, that's what's been going on. It's life. I do have a life. And it's a bloody busy one. Can't wait till I retire. This is beautiful, guys. Send strength, I'd say, was a six. Both out the puck and lathered. Here we go, the Lupo 95. Brand new, London Bridge Blade. First pass. Mm. That's nice. Yeah, as I was saying, good news on the horizon. I hope. Apparently, we got a letter in the letterbox the other day. And our internet provider is upgrading our internet for the area. <laughs> and we are being provided with ultra fast Wi Fi. Not super fast, not super fiber, it's ultra fast Wi Fi. But I believe that when I see it. And that commences on the 31st, Halloween on Monday. So I'm hoping. Let that out. There's not going to be much interruption the internet. I'm hoping the interruption is going to be while I'm at work. That is beautiful. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. So the uploads. Depending on how fast it is. Should be a lot easier for me to do. And you reckon it's gonna take him four days. So I've got my fingers crossed that everything's gonna be okay. Excuse me, where did that come from? Wow. Wow. That's a great first pass. A lot of whiskers there. Slickness is there. Good residual slickness, which it should build up after each pass. Had a really good uh, day in work yesterday. I got moved off my delivery. To another, I'm just gonna gather a little tiny bit more out of the puck there. I got moved on to my favourite delivery in the office. Very rural. 
a lot of wildlife, fantastic scenery. It wasn't too busy. And for a while, it's the best day in work I've had for a long time. Yeah, do you remember The Hound of the Baskervilles? Good old Sherlock Holmes. I think the original film was, um, I think they released it in 1939, I think it was. Oh, good old Sherlock Holmes. With his curly pipe. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Living Baker Street, London. Here we go, second pass. And he always wore a hat. It was a bit of a, um, what did they call it? And then a disguise. Genius? I don't know. But yeah, I used to love watching it. I used to love watching Sherlock Holmes. Basil Rathbone, that was it. That was Sherlock Holmes. Basil Rathbone. Master of Disguise, that was it. He was a bit of a master of disguise. That's nice. Although, I like the modern version of the Sherlock Holmes now. For the effects. Played by Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, slit, slitness is building up really nice. So how's your shaves going okay? Let me know what you're shaving with in the comments. If you, if you shave it. Or if you shaved like yesterday, let me know what your shave was yesterday. And keep your comments coming guys, please. It's, I absolutely love reading them. Very much appreciated. A little bit more water, just a dab. A dab will do. Well, Halloween's coming up Monday. Have you decorated your houses yet? Quite a few houses on my delivery. A lot of people they really go to town on their houses, and they're really good. What I might do, I might take some photos and uh, I've got the Halloween shave coming on Monday, and uh, I might just put a few photos. Here we go, money pass against the grove. I might put a few photos up of some of the houses. On my delivery, all decorated. I'll obviously ask them permission first. I'm not just going to do it. Even though I can take a picture or photos from anything I can see from a public footpath. It's polite to ask, isn't it? I'll tell you what I couldn't believe the other morning, yesterday morning, on the way to work, 
Must have been, I think it's about 20 past five. It was 14 degrees. We're coming to the end of October. And it was 14 degrees at 20 past five in the morning. Temperature has been dropping quite a bit in the night though. I had a bit of rain yesterday, but most of it was sunny. I wouldn't think it was near the end of October. Maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the weather been like where you are? It's fantastic, just a little bit on the jawline. That's beautiful. Oh, the scent. It's, if, if you like dark scents, this, this will be right up your street. Although, I can't find it even on the Phoenix and Bow website. I got this from Shaving Time last year. I think it's a limited edition, seasonal, well, for Halloween. And they haven't got it. And I can't find it on the website, but if you get a chance to see it anywhere, if you like dark scents, jump at it. Here we go. Yeah, so roll on Monday. Faster than this. I remember one of the neighbours, must have been about three years ago. He inquired of how much it would cost him to get the, is it super fiber installed? And they quoted him 78,000 pounds because he would have had to pay for the whole village for the supply. Obviously he said no. Cold water in it. Oh, that's beautiful. BBS, guys. I can feel it. Alan. Good old Alan. Wow. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm trying to think who um, Dr. Watson was, um, who was played by. Is it somebody Bruce? Something, I'm sure it's some, somebody Bruce. Wow. Right, for the splash, there's no matching splash with the soap. But I've gone for Barrister and Man, the full measure of man. It's not exact, but it's it's quite close. I think it shares some of the same notes. Yeah. 
This is more woody, in my opinion. More woody and tobacco. Yeah, definitely more woody and tobacco. That is beautiful. Masculine. Dark and masculine. Nigel, Nigel Bruce played Dr. Watson. <laughs> Bugging me. Right, bomb I'm going with is good old tobacco. Good old tobacco. Nice tobacco. And that's all you need. Same as most moisturizers or after shape bombs, it goes a long way. Tired of the scent of tobacco. And that's the shape, guys. There's the result. Absolutely beautiful. Enjoy that. Right, as I say once again, guys, thank you so much for your patience and your loyalty. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love of every single one of you. Need to get them back to normal. Right, that's it, guys. Um, I've got a shave coming up on Saturday. I've got a shave coming up on Saturday. And there might be something extra over the weekend. If not, that might be Friday. <laughs> I don't know, but it's definitely happening. Right, I've got all these plans, all these shaves lined up, and ideas for videos and everything. So it's all just putting everything in order and into place. Right, stop waffling, Chris. Right, enjoy the rest of your week, guys. And um, stay smooth and stay safe. Bye now.